With Hapak Lloyd's online invoice dispute solution, you can submit invoice disputes and follow their progress online anytime, anywhere. Simply go to hapaklloyd.com where you'll find the invoice dispute solution under documentation. In this tutorial, we will show you how to submit and manage your disputes. After opening the application, you'll first see an overview of your disputes. This overview shows all the disputes that are linked to your account as invoice payer or dispute contact, which were submitted in the last 90 days. This overview is connected to our internal system and will always display live data about your disputes. This way, you'll be able to track the progress of your disputes in real time. If you have too many disputes, you can use the filters to narrow down your search. You can search for a specific dispute or invoice number, for example, or filter the results by the dispute status. If there are no disputes linked to your account, a clear message will be displayed, also guiding you to create a new dispute. If you came here to create a new dispute, you should click the New Invoice Dispute button on the top left corner of the page. You are now taken to our dispute form. Here, you start by selecting a dispute category and type. Please note that for each dispute submission, only one type can be selected for the dispute group. If you have multiple dispute reasons for this invoice group, you can provide details as part of the dispute description. After selecting the dispute type, you should include which invoices are part of the dispute. Here you can add up to 10 invoices at a time if they share the same dispute type. Here you will always need to input the invoice and shipment number and may also need to add the difference amount and currency depending on the dispute type. To make things easier, all fields that are presented to you are mandatory. You can use the Add Invoice button to include additional invoices to this dispute group. You can click the Delete button to remove any invoices from the dispute group. Please note that the Delete button is only shown when more than one invoice is part of the group. After adding the invoices, you have the chance to provide a detailed reasoning for your dispute, which will help our team to assess and validate your dispute. You can also include up to five attachments to your dispute. Please note the accepted file types and size. Lastly, you will provide a contact person for the dispute and can add your customer's reference number in case you are creating the dispute on behalf of a customer. The email address is pre-filled with the email address of the logged in customer, but you can change it in case you should not be the contact person for this dispute. The contact person will receive all notifications related to this dispute and will also be able to see this dispute in their dispute overview. Now you can see that your disputes were successfully created. Now it's our turn to assess the disputes and get back to you with the results as soon as possible. You will see a confirmation screen indicating the dispute numbers associated with each invoice disputed. From this page, you can submit a new dispute or you can go back to the dispute overview. As you can see, the newly created disputes are already present in this overview. We hope this tutorial has helped you with your invoice disputes. By following these steps, you can efficiently manage and submit invoice disputes through our digital application. If you want to give feedback or if you need further assistance, please reach out to your local office or use the feedback button on the page.